Thank you, Chair, uh, dear colleagues, friends, and uh, uh, dear Ms., uh, Mrs. Uh, Rajavi. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, welcome back to the European Parliament, and thank you for uh, coming back with this agenda and highlighting once again the uh, policy, the uh, history of uh, Iranian people fight uh, for their freedom, which is not finished, which is still, uh, you know, stuck in a somewhere, but, uh, you know, we have to speak about this. We have to come back, we have to reflect, and we have to agree on uh, further uh, um, actions we have to take upon. And, of course, my best wishes and uh, um, for uh, our colleague uh, Alejo Quadras, who, who was indeed heavily injured, but those who fight against freedom, those who are for pro-regime, those who are for, uh, for uh, oppression of people. So best recovery, um, my friend, and come back uh, with the double energy uh, we all need uh, to see from your side. Let me to uh, highlight a couple of uh, moments from my side. You know, any fight, any movement needs a very clear and indeed active uh, leadership. So let us to recognize that uh, the very pivotal role women have played and continue to play in the uprising and ongoing struggle for democratic aspirations in Iran. It's so important. Their bra bravery and significant contribution to the fight for free Iran re reflect your leadership, Madam Rajavi, instilling indeed very free, uh, fear in the regime and the mullahs. They might reject this, but they can't uh, refuse this. They do feel it. So that's why uh, please continue and um, Please continue do, doing this, bringing people together and inspiring for future fight as well. Again, I have to admit that the current state of affairs concerning Iran is a result of failure, appeasement, what the uh, EU is pursuing towards the uh, 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 regime in Iran. And we have to admit that Mullah's regime in Iran remain to be a very part of evil axis, which is more and more emerging globally. And it's, it's a bigger threat to uh, you know, peace, stability, not just in one region, but globally. So that's why Iran's um, um, revolutionary guard must be recognized as a terrorist organization as soon as possible. Dear, dear friends, we have to reactivate our campaign for this. Let's be frank. I mean, organization, but we have to activate our efforts. We have to combine more uh, those like-minded people, uh, political uh, supporters, and to raise this issue on a daily basis. So that's why uh, Adam Rajavi, thank you for bringing this issue once again uh, to this House. Uh, we have to see what we can do more being in a better organization and let's uh, achieve what, uh, uh, what we are for here, for bringing stability, freedom and, uh, you know, absolutely different uh, cooperation in, uh, uh, in Iran with the people of Iran. But first, let's do things what we have to do. Uh, Revolutionary Guard must be designated as a terror organization. We have to cut all cooperation with the Mullah's regime. So we made so many mistakes in this regard. But let's be hopeful. And only hope can bring us I mean, to the point we want to be, to see free Iran from Mullah's. Thank you so much. Thank you.